sort of from a coaching perspective, Richie, the, the news that Jacob Sotel is a very new uh, contract, uh, contract extension and very positive news. Yeah, definitely. We, 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 it's very important for our rugby that we hold on to our best players. And, and uh, Jacob put up there, you know, he's, young, he's a young guy in sort of the prime um, time, timing of his career. So um, hold on to him is obviously very good for our rugby. And James Ryan? Exactly, James Ryan. Uh, yeah, a lot. They obviously broke through in 2018 when we won the Grand Slam, and uh, they've been getting better and better. Uh, or sorry, uh, we haven't been getting better and better ever since. <laughs> uh, but they, they, they seem to be getting from strength to strength in terms of their personality, in terms of their leadership. Um, yeah, and they're contributing more to the team now than even they were in 2018. I think in 2018 they had some outstanding performances, but you know they're taking much more of a, a leadership role now in the team, which is great. Thank you. So the Welsh indicated that Pencil was just saying that they wouldn't have all firing from the start on Saturday and muscle up. Um, even Ireland were obviously a bit nervy last week to be needed to play the higher level and be part of the match and play off. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I think last week we were, you know, ready to go, but we got to realise, you know, when we stopped the first two collisions, you know, we were chasing shadows down for, you know, seven, eight, nine pages in Scotland, they're a team that always played good shape, good weight, uh, you know, a lot of pace in their team, so it's about those, you know, first couple of phases, making sure that we've got some, some good contacts there. Um, I don't think we were too nervous at the start of the game, I think we just were a little bit inaccurate and we settled into the game then, and, but throughout the game we just weren't... Uh, clinical low fracture enough in areas that uh, led to get into the other way. Well, you've been involved in some amazing fixtures between Wales and Ireland. Talk to me about the, the kind of rivalry that they have through these two teams because it can be pretty spicy at times. Yes, it is on the pitch. Uh, off the pitch, we'd be very similar. Uh, you know, on the Lions tours and stuff, I've played with a lot of the guys and, and got some great relationships with a few of them, uh, or most of them. And, uh, but on the pitch, you know, they're proud nation, we're proud nation, and no one wants to take a backward step, and I'm sure it'll be no different on, on Saturday. And obviously you played most of your career against a Gatland team, obviously a, a different team of foot on Saturday. Talk to me about the challenges that, that faces you as a squad. Yeah, it's new, isn't it? Uh, when you're <coughs> playing against a uh, you know, team coach by someone different, uh, we're so used to playing against uh, Warren and his way of playing. Um, poses big problems and uh, we have great battles over the years now a new coach coming in you can see already some of the ideas that they have and we've played against him uh, when he coached Scarlett's so we know some of the, the way they're going to play and at times we've struggled against that style of play when, when it was you know Leinster for example in the semi-final we lost to them and we lost again uh, most of the lost in the final to them um, so yeah I'm sure they'll be talking about that or Wayne will and um, you know we'll have to be ready for that style of play. I mean, just among the squad, does last year's rules against Wales and the Six Nations still stay a little bit? Yeah, of course, we're going for a, a championship, you know what I mean? Uh, we were going for a grand slam, we were going for a championship, and uh, we, got, we got well beaten at the gate. Um, yeah, very disappointing day, and one that, you know, any time we lose for Ireland, it never leaves you, you know, I didn't think about it a lot, and uh, that was one of those days. Just as it seems to be a look at games well, there's a lot of talk about maybe players being too static when receiving the ball uh, within the Orange County plan. Is that something that's being worked on? Do you think you can get better? No. Disagree. No, I disagree, yeah. Obviously, it, it, when you get a slow ball off, you know, bad set piece, you know, you, you can't run onto the ball into a brick wall. Um, so uh, we did some really good things at times when we were moving onto the ball and uh, yeah, we hope to get more from football this week. We might not, and we won't try and force things if we're not, because we know what we're we're meant to do against slow ball when you got you know full defence against you. You know, it's not as easy as that. And you brought Colin Murray into the set around the rope and a couple of years ago very evident for tries. It hasn't been so evident in the last five months to say. Is that is that a tactic thing or maybe opportunity not presenting itself so much in matches? Uh, yeah, a little bit of both probably. Um, I thought Kyle had, had, had a good game last week um, and uh, yeah when those opportunities present itself or if they present themselves I'm sure he'll be, he'll be ready to go but I don't think they did last week um, you know so that was uh, again the speed of awesome you know we, we were playing a lot of unstructured play and 
Uh, at times, you looked like we were, we were, you know, that phase of play where we, you know, came out, we went down to touch and got caught back for a penalty for obstruction. You know, arguably put a score a try there, and that was a pretty good play. So uh, there's lots of, you know, good points, a lot of bad points as well, which we talked about, and we have to fix up for this week. It's a little bit tactical as well. It's just an overall decision that he just gets the ball out quicker than. No, that's no. Like Connor's got the scope to, to go on the snipe, but in international rugby, it, it doesn't always open up. It's not like uh, provincial rugby or uh, even some high and cook games. It's, it's proper test match rugby, and last week was a proper test match. And I don't know what you. Yeah, the biggest problem for Connor is he's had those games where he's he's ripped them up, like ripped up the All Blacks in Chicago. He's done that, but then you become a marked man. You know what I mean? Then it's Sometimes the space isn't there, and it's not as simple as oh, why did you do that, that game or didn't do it this game. He's 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 played well. So I just watched the game against the Ospreys. He played really well. He played really well again last week, and um, I'm sure he'll play well again this week.